Okay, welcome to Path of Exile Metamorph League Day 3, playing Pyroclast Mines, Scion, Saboteur, Chieftain, Ubalab Farmer. Yes, it's a bit of a mouthful, and it's a bit of a weird build, but it seems to be working. Uh, so this video has a ton of lab highlights in, some good drops, and I want to know if this is something you are interested in. This is pretty um, comfortable for me to do, and I can crank out these videos relatively quickly. But due to shadow play, I can just record the last two minutes of the lab run and show you the best drops. So if you enjoy opening lab boxes and seeing lab boxes been opened, maybe you'll enjoy this video. So we are in the lab. We have 5k life. This is our very first attempt at a fully buffed up Oob lab. I'm level 77. I've gone in blind. Uh, luckily, I've got a diamond shrine and the pyro class mines are just destroying stuff. Now, Azaro almost killed me and I had to leave him. Uh, sorry, Argus almost killed me and I had to leave him on the very first run because it was a bit finicky aggroing him and trying to not die because he's a massive physical beast. Um, so we didn't do Argus for the first run, but we did manage to ascend and start from the Marauder tree Which is just going to allow me to spec into life Just get a lot tankier and just make the build a lot safer because I don't need the damage. My damage feels pretty good So we can just work on tankiness. So as you can see I have a Combs heart uh, in day two We got a lion eyes fall and I effectively Sold the lion eyes fall and used the money to buy a Combs. That's why I've got quite a lot of health um, and it's going pretty damn well my league start I would say because I really wasn't sure this was gonna honestly work uh first lab run didn't really get much but I sold a 12c ring and then we tested it my Xeri damage and it was pretty nutty uh so these are just enchants box openings I'll just kind of talk you through the build uh kind of my feeling of the league I'm enjoying the league uh right now though obviously I'm not really interacting with the league mechanic that much because I'm in the lab but I, I enjoy the lab. I think it's nice. You set aside 10, 15 minutes for a full lab run. And then at the end of it, you get to open some boxes and some excitement. So for me, I've always enjoyed the lab. Um, since I've really started farming it, I've been doing it for like five leagues now. And then I'll try to use the currency to make a build to like farm the end game stuff. And and the, the league seems pretty fun. So I'll carry on like doing the league mechanic because actually it's not blight league and blight league was kind of terrible so didn't really like playing by blight league uh 25c double strike enchant had a couple uh double strike enchants this this league i've had a couple 20 seers i did get an exalt drop on my second lab run but it didn't record so i've basically got an exalt to spend and i put my exalt into lab offerings and we got the odd enchant such as these uh like gc mine 25c i'm pretty sure if i sat there like forever i could get 50c 40c 30c but i just put them up kind of cheap at the start of the league because people aren't really looking for like gg enchants super early in the league they're just looking for something to give them a bit of damage like for example this storm brand gives gives 40 percent increased damage i got an exalt for it now maybe uh you know gc mine damage isn't as important as conversion but when you're struggling for damage and you can get a little bit of a boost for 25c people will pay it even if it's not the quote best enchant so i just like to price them to sell uh i just find it way easier than trying than sitting on a load of stuff that isn't selling i'd rather just sell it and then put the money into offerings and stuff to improve my own build uh, you can see if you're paying attention in the top right uh, i have an amulet um, a marble amulet that stops me bleeding on traps but now we got death's doors so we don't need that so i got managed to get rid of the boots and then i bought a talisman which is two percent life regen and some life and then i put death's doors on so now we're not even bleeding so finally got death's doors it's been about three leagues since i've got a pair of death's doors so we have a little joke a little race in our guild because most of us play lab running and if you get death's doors you've won the race and i have indeed won the race this one I actually got a Herald of Agony enchant and that sold for I believe 1.5 exalts and I'm pretty sure I could have got more for it but the guy was desperate he like added in 1.5 exalts he added in like Vals, Sextants, Alks like he was just he really wanted it and I just couldn't be bothered sitting on it so I just sold it. Um, Ball Lightning projectile sold for two exalts I didn't realize this was popular but after I sold it for two exalts I got another message. 
So I probably could have sold it for more than two eggs alts, but honestly, like, I I just sell it when, when I'm selling it. Because if someone comes in for an eggs alt and undercuts it, how many people this early on in the league have multiple eggs alts to be throwing around for enchants? So I just sold it for two eggs alts, and I was pretty damn pleased with that. Uh, one thing I will note is the gem box nerf is out like at suit size small who's who's the lab runner that does the the lab notes he said it wasn't noticeable I would say it's pretty noticeable I would say the the gem box barely ever pops up and when when it does pop up there's not many gems in it uh, I've had one good gem box the whole day it was like 19 percenters and only one of the 19 percenters was good so amazingly uh, most of the currency I made today came from enchants, which for the past three or four leagues has been the complete opposite. It's been mainly gem sales uh, and like just the bits of currency you pick up, like six sockets and uniques and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, th this league, apparently I've actually got enchant luck. Not like super GG enchants, but I mean I've had death doors, a couple, like multiple exalt uh <laughs> multiple exalt runs and then boom i got a shavs like the last shavs i got was in legacy league uh so it's been that long since it's dropped and yeah they're not expensive uh the two exalts they used to be like 100 exalts back in the day but man like early on in the league that felt really good like two exalt drop just straight out of the lab that's that's really nice so uh, i've kind of made what like five or six exalts uh, i was doing troves they dropped nothing, but f finally one trove did something, and it dropped to Divino. But yeah, the troves are really not worth doing. But you know, I, I was just doing them because start of the league, full runs. Why not? Um. Yeah, the build though is mainly regen. If you detonate your mines, you get regen. Uh, I've got chieftain regen. I've got amulet regen. Uh, stone golem for regen. So as long as if I don't get one shot, I'm I'm kind of okay. I haven't done a fizz day though, which would be like charges. So if he slashes on a full fizz day, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get destroyed because I, I blow Argus up before he gets to me now. But if he does get to me, um, he kind of destroys me. So I'm not sure how comfortable this will be as a, a lab farmer because... It could do today because it was Ellie and I could just one-shot it, but we'll have to see the physical days. Can it be done? But the traps are looking a lot better because I've got so much regen and I'm and I'm not bleed due to the death doors. But if you don't have death doors, just get the amulet. The amulet was super clutch. Uh, it's called the blood grip. So you can see, like, after I've spent... It takes so long, like, you... The inventory management for doing the lab, you have like tabs and tabs. I think I had like seven tabs full of stuff. And then I ID'd it all, priced it all, sold it all. Um, and I think we ended up with about seven exalts. I converted some chaos into exalts because they were like, I think it was 89C, 90C for an exalt. And I've got a feeling they're probably going to go up. Although exalts, I don't think will go as high as they normally do because multi-modding probably isn't going to be as popular but yeah i just got the exalts now i could go for a six link i could buy a six link but i don't think i need a six link to be honest the only i don't know the only thing i could think about upgrading is the six link and then getting an enchant for myself uh the enchant is nothing or getting a better if i could get the regen enchant on my death's doors that'd be super nice because that'd be two percent regen if you've been hit um, so really, all that we're doing is working on life, our life pool. We're getting, we're buying more offerings, uh, buying twice enchanted when I can be bothered or if I'm in the mood for it. Um, got some, obviously, I got some offering returns. Um, but yeah, we made about seven exalts, pure, and then I've got basically a combs on and death doors so that's like another two three exalts so almost like a 10 exalt day which is very very rare for me in the lab uh, normally i'm just selling gems and stuff but i actually had really good luck so i thought i'd capture that post it showcase it uh, so if you're enjoying these videos let me know if you want to see more let me know uh if you have enjoyed all my content throughout the years of path of exile or gears 5 then there are links in the description to support um yeah, tip of coffee, 
or whatever you want to do, throw a Twitch Prime my way. Uh, very much appreciated. Hopefully the video was interesting. Uh, yeah, look at that. All that stuff ready for tomorrow. Hey, Paul, we're ready for tomorrow. So there we go.